Hello and welcome Sagittarius. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Um, this is going to be the what's coming in for 2020 um, special edition reading. So this is going to take a look into kind of what's coming in for 2021 as far as love, you know, finances, um, just the whole year kind of in a whole, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of what you need to let go of, you know, just kind of looking all over the place, different areas at your life. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take those three. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and last but not least, okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set these over here to the side. Debating on letting this train <laughs> go on because I know it's about to get pretty loud. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start. Um, as far as 2021, kind of looking at it as like a whole, kind of like the overall for the year, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Hermit card. So Sagittarius, I do feel like, <clears throat> one, I feel like you're mending heartbreak. I also feel like for some of you, you're avoiding heartbreak. Um, but be careful because... While trying to protect your heart or trying to avoid heartbreak, I feel like you're going to be passing up some opportunities. Um, I feel like for the majority of you, you're kind of choosing to kind of do your own thing, really kind of do some soul searching this year <clears throat> in 2021. Um, really kind of just looking out. I keep getting like looking at the bigger picture, again, doing some soul searching, um, really not focused on just one thing, but kind of all areas of your life. Um, I feel like you're looking to make some pretty big changes in 2021. Um, again, I feel like that's the reason for the whole soul, soul searching. Um, I keep getting like you feel like it's time. You're like for a lot of you, it's like you're getting like a calling. Uh, you're hearing, you know, like, OK, it's time to kind of do something. It's time to go in a different direction is what I keep getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah, I keep getting going towards like a new beginning here for you. <clears throat> I keep getting you're looking for new opportunities. Like I said, it looks like 2021. You're really going to want to kind of change some things up here for yourself, Sagittarius. Yeah, see, again, like I said, I kept getting like it's time. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune coming out. Like I said, I feel like you are looking for, um, like, kind of wiping the slate clean, looking for a fresh new beginning, um, looking to make amends, but also looking to move on, um, again, towards, like, a new beginning. So, again, making some big changes for yourself in 2021. So, feeling pretty good here, Sagittarius. All right, so as far as the love department goes, we have the Six of Pentacles, and then we have the Emperor. So I do feel like for some of you, you are searching for someone to commit to. It's like you're weighing more of your options of looking for something more serious, looking for more reciprocity, looking for something um, different. <laughs> Again, it's like your whole theme for this year, Sagittarius, I keep getting different. Um, you're wanting to make a lot of changes. And like I said, your love area is definitely no. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I just keep getting, yeah, it's just, it's no exception. I keep getting, um, 
kind of releasing things, but still kind of looking at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, it's like releasing the past. You're looking for something new, something different. Again, I feel like a lot of you are looking more for commitment. Um, again, more for reciprocity, more of who can bring, you know, something to the table and have that equality. Who's going to be more give and take with me? Because I feel like, you know, in the past, that's something you really struggled with. Um, and the love area is just kind of, you know, that equal give and take, finding that balance, finding, you know, that not being so controlling, you know, knowing when to kind of back off and knowing when to trust. Um, but, you know, they, that trust needs to be earned as well. And I feel like that's where you're kind of running into some issues. But it's like for 2021, you're really kind of releasing that, like I said, and it's like you're taking a different approach is what I keep getting. All right. Yeah, see that? You're taking that different approach. Um, I also feel like you're going to be making more decisions. I feel like, you know, it kind of starts off 2021 of kind of like balancing or kind of going back and forth on, do I want a commitment or do I just want to kind of, you know, keep my eyes open? Do I want to keep my options open? Um, again, I keep getting like the ending of something again, going towards something new. Like I said, I feel like you're making some pretty big changes in 2021. Um, even in the love department, like I said, I feel like for some of you, you're looking for more of a commitment while others of you, you're looking more to just kind of keep your options open. Um, but both sides, like everything for Sagittarius, it kind of does just feel like you're trying to change some things. <clears throat> you're going to be like dating a different type of person than what you normally do. It's like you're making some big changes, but again, some of you are looking for commitment while others of you, you're just keeping your options open and whatever happens, happens. So it's not like you're really kind of set, you know, to look for that commitment. You're just like, what happens? It, you know, it happens. I'll just go with it. <clears throat> All right. Um, as far as finances goes, Sagittarius, you have the world card and you have the sun card. So two major arcana in the area of finance. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you are, I keep getting like the ending of a tough cycle. So this could be financial freedom for some of you is what I keep getting. Um, I also keep getting a partnership. Um, this could be finding a new job offer because I feel like for some of you, you've been without a job for some time or... Um, without steady income of some sort, because I kind of feel like that, um, that hanging on really kind of like keeping those purse straps, you know, really tight, watching spending, you know, things like that. It's like trying to make ends meet. Um, and I feel like that kind of like a tough, you know, time, like I said. Um, so I do feel like you are getting past that. And I feel like there's going to, you know, definitely be some brighter days ahead. Um, I feel like you are going towards a big opportunity. I feel like there's going to be some light that's shed on the situation. I feel like for some of you, this is going to be given either like a gift or to kind of get you back on your feet. Or for some of you, this is giving, um, being given like a new opportunity. And it's not like these are just handouts. I do feel like, you know, you've really kind of worked for them. You've, you know, done something to earn these things. Um, or somebody's taken notice, like I said. But I feel like either way, you're going to be getting something that's going to ease that financial stress. Um, especially in the job area. Like I said, I feel like you're going towards a new job. For a lot of you. I just feel like a new opportunity. And I keep getting more, um, like, steady flow of finance. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's been tough. Um, again, trying to make ends meet. For some of you, this is really having to think outside the box in order to bring some money into the home, in order to, again, make ends meet, to pay the bills, to put food on the table. Um, it feels like, you know, there's been some struggle here. It definitely feels like, you know, there's been an ending. Again, I do feel like somebody has, you know, kind of lost their job or, um, is kind of sitting on the sideline waiting for a new offer, waiting for a new opportunity. And I feel that's coming in. Again, I do feel like a more steady, um, income is approaching. And I also feel like a new opportunity is as well. Um, so I do feel like, you know, that's a good area of change as far as finance and everything. I feel that's very positive for you going forward. So again, just letting you know. All right. So as far as what do you need to let go of in 2021, we have justice and we have the queen of pentacles. So I do feel like, um, 
what am I trying to say here? Um, making peace with the past, making peace with someone here. Um, I do feel like you hold grudges. <laughs> um, and I feel like you're, you're kind of holding a grudge against someone and not letting them make amends or, um, it's, but it's in a sense kind of keeping you held back as well because you, you're still holding on to that negative energy. So it's all about kind of just releasing it, just kind of letting go. Even if you're not making peace with that person directly, you know, it's just making peace to say, you know what, I forgive you. What's done is done. It taught me this and now I'm moving on. You know, even if it's talking about forgiving yourself, I just feel like you're going to be doing that. I feel like you're going to be making something just. I feel like you're going to be fixing something. Um, again, making that, you know, that balance um, or excuse me, that scale balanced. Um, so again, I do feel like that's what you're going to be letting go, kind of releasing. Um, I also feel like for some of you, I keep thinking like somebody has a court case or some fines or something. And it's like, you're finally going to be done paying them off. Or, um, I also keep getting that somebody, um, I can't tell if this is a spouse or just a family member. It's like somebody, it's like somebody's done their time and it's like in 2021, they're going to be released. Um, and I keep getting like that excitement that of, you know, again, paying off that debt is what I keep getting. Um, with the queen of pentacles, again, I do feel like you're going to be finding more stability, more security. I feel like you're not going to be rushing into decisions. I feel like you're also going to be looking at financial issues a lot clearer and a lot better. Um, making better choices is what I keep getting. And I also keep getting something about, um, changing the way you eat. It's like you're, I keep getting like somebody's really kind of gone through like a junk food phase or like something. It's like they packed on, you know, a few pounds. And so they're like, okay, you know, it's time to make some changes. And I feel like that's something else that you're kind of releasing is like old habits. Um, so, you know, again, there you go. Let's just clarify, see if there's anything else. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, see, I feel like letting that, um, with that justice card, how I was talking about holding on to grudges and holding on to like past hurts, you know, things like that. It feels like that's what you're really letting go. And you're finally letting the process of healing come in and take place. I feel like you're finally on the move, finally moving forward. You know, you're not staying stagnant. You're not stuck in that energy of, again, you know, that negative energy, holding that grudge or holding um, on to that hurt, you know, or holding on to anything in the past that's keeping you from moving forward. So again, that's good. I feel moving. Movement. I feel like you're releasing and that's what's allowing you to really move forward here. Okay, so what's going to manifest for 2021 for Sagittarius? We have the Page of Wands and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is good. I'm liking this because again, I'm feeling you getting unstuck. I'm feeling you moving forward. I'm feeling your luck changing for the better. And I'm also feeling like you're looking at something um, as new potential. You're looking at something with a fresh set of eyes and this is good. Because I feel like you're seeing some potential. You're seeing something that nobody else is seeing. And for a lot of you, um, this is almost making a discovery. Or this is um, figuring something out. This is also finding something that's really going to work into your advantage. Um, I keep getting somebody finds like an antique or something that they've had all this time. Or a family member has had. And it's like they get it appraised and they find out it's worth quite a bit. Um, again, obviously that's not going to be for everybody, but I keep getting that is for somebody. Um, and it feels like somebody, like I said, they, they just take notice of it. It's like, it's been here this entire time, but I'm taking notice of it. And it's like, huh, I wonder, you know? Um, so it's like curiosity kind of leads you down to a different path. Curiosity leads you to something that's going to, um, bring about that fruition of what you've been manifesting. I do feel like, again, a lot of you have been manifesting a change of luck, you know, just moving forward, um, kind of getting, you know, I keep getting, I need to catch a break. Um, and I feel like that's what you're going towards here, Sagittarius. Um, you're manifesting, you know, that divine timing kind of working for you. Um, you know, what's meant to be, you know, finding its way to you. Again, I feel like there's some good news on its way. And I, again, I have to say there's some kind of new beginning here. Okay. All right, we're going to clarify that. Yeah, look at that. Speaking of manifesting, you have the magician. Um, and also the eight of pentacles. So again, really kind of focusing, putting in some work. 
Um, I do feel, you know, of course, with anything that you're trying to manifest, you have to put in some work, you know, of course, it's not just going to appear out of thin air. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you have been putting this work towards, you know, what it, what it is you're trying to bring into fruition, what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to bring into the 3D. And I feel like you're learning, um, again, how to use some tools. I feel like a lot of you are learning a new craft, um, a new skill, a new skill set. Um, again, I keep getting new opportunities and I feel like you're really kind of, you know, I keep getting something being put to the side. Like this could be, you know, a skill set, something you learned a long time ago, something, um, you know, again, like some kind of even treasure, something that you've had for quite some time. I just feel like something is finally coming into use. And again, I just feel like it's going to really kind of bring in some financial, um, movement here. All right. So as far as the area of personal growth in 2021 for Sagittarius, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Two of Swords. So I do feel like um, Sagittarius, you're get, definitely going to be needing to make some decisions during this year. I feel like you're going to um, take action. I almost feel like, you know, for some, it's going to be hard making some decisions. I feel like some of them are going to be rather difficult for you. But I feel like you do. I feel like this is not just like, you know, what should I eat today? What should I wear today? I feel like this is, should I move? Should I look for, you know, a better job? Um, you know, what if I take this chance moving across, you know, the country? Um, you know, I keep getting like some big decisions. So not just like I said, you know, what am I going to eat for breakfast? Um, no, I feel like there's going to be some big decisions and I feel like you're not going to rush into it. I feel like you're really going to kind of weigh your options. Um, I also feel like personal growth, you're, um, not, not only are you going to be relying on yourself to make these big decisions, because I feel like you really tend to kind of ask, you know, a lot of other people, like, you know, getting their opinion. And that's good. You know, I mean, it is good. But at the end of the day, like I said, just remember, it's ultimately your decision. Um, but I also feel like with the Six of Wands, you're going to be taken notice of. I feel like there's a confidence that you're just kind of radiating. I feel like you really, again, take something to the next level. Um, for some of you, this is getting some kind of recognition on... Um, like social, if you have a social media channel, like a YouTube channel, this could be again, really kind of climbing the charts, really kind of getting the numbers that you want this year. I'm um, really kind of growing, you know, really kind of succeeding here. I just keep getting a lot of success for you, Sagittarius, um, as far as personal growth. And, you know, this is just kind of defeating, you know, again, those things that are kind of holding you back, those decisions that have been hard to make, it's finally making them, and again, succeeding, you know, choosing, you know, what it is that's going to help move you forward, um, finding that inner confidence in order to do so. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So we have the Hierophant, and we have the Ace of Wands again. So I have to say, as far as, you know, personal growth, like I said, I feel like you're becoming the teacher. I feel like you've learned some lessons. You're ready to pass on what you've learned. Again, I feel like somebody is kind of climbing. Um, yeah, I keep getting like, you know, almost like that corporate ladder. Um, so this is kind of telling me, you know, a promotion or again, a new opportunity. And with the Ace of Wands, I feel like you're going to be rather passionate about this new opportunity. Um, I feel like there's new beginnings in love. I feel like there's new beginnings in finances in job opportunities offers, um, just in new opportunities. Like I said, I do get a pretty big move here that you're going to be having to make or that you're going to be wanting to make. And I feel like it really does kind of wipe the slate clean. I feel like it gives you that new beginning, that new change that you're really after, that you're really wanting to pursue. And I feel like it opens up a lot of opportunity for you. All right, Sagittarius, let's get some moonology. Okay, so we have take time to breathe out. So make sure, again, don't rush into decisions. Um, take some time. You know, I keep getting meditating, kind of grounding your energy as well. Um, because I feel like you're going to be hit with some, some kind of like unexpected circumstances. And it's best to just kind of, you know, again, take a step back take a breath and then handle it. Don't just try to keep going, 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 you know, again, pace yourself. All right. So we do have, you know, again, um, we have forgiveness on the bottom. I have to show you because it feels relevant. Let go. 
Um, I feel like, you know, again, holding on to grudges, holding on to past hurts, you know, things like that. Um, definitely just, you know, this year is about forgiving, about releasing, about letting go things that have been holding on to you, you know, keeping you from moving forward. I feel like you're finding your passion this year. You're allowing your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Um, again, just finding that passion in that romance, you know, as far as love goes, as well as job opportunities, as, you know, just your personal life in general. I feel like you're really opening up that passion, especially with that Ace of Wands. All right. <laughs> okay. So your last ones we have are indecision, which we show or we seen with the two of swords there, um, and then the garden at the gate. So again, definitely Sagittarius, do not let fear hold you back. Do not let those what ifs, you know, what if I open this gate and the garden doesn't grow? What if I fail? But what if you succeed? Again, you don't know until you try. Um, so that's all about making those tough choices and, and, you know, giving yourself a chance, giving yourself that try because you never know what's going to happen until you do it. So, all right, well, Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching and thank you to each and every one of you for being here with me this year. I do appreciate you all so very much, um, more than words can say. So again, thank you all and have a wonderful new year. And as always, take care.